we are gonna show you how Mr. Beast videos are made. We have behind the scenes footage of his Squid Game, Escape Room, Buried Alive, and so many other videos you've seen. Money, it's in every Mr. Beast video. But did you actually know it's fake? We just used prop money, right? Which looked completely real. There's no different. And then right when they get off camera, hey, that's prop money. Uh, here's an actual check for that. And everything you see in this clip is actually a set. Everything is custom built. It's even the same for when he's outside or in public places. Fun fact about his coffin for the Buried Alive video. So we, we ha hired an outside company to build because I didn't trust myself building that. The coffin in the video cost us like $243,000 to make. Oh my Sometimes he can't make something. So he'll just ask his YouTube friends. Before we show you mind-blowing behind-the-scenes footage of his squid game, we have undercover footage of this video thanks to Air Rack. It is officially day two in the circle. We need to shrink the circle again. Yeah. Mr. Beast even had a small crane for this shot, custom lights for this circle, and hidden mics that make his video sound crisp. Do we make you nervous, Jimmy? <laughs> now we're gonna go behind the scenes of Mr. Beast's Squid Game, which took days to make and was built in Mr. Beast's studios. Before we get to his $10 million studio, we have to go to the last location this Squid Game was made in, which was on a computer. Some sets aren't realistic, like this one and this one. So I called in these guys to help me bring them to life. We virtually created every set in this video that matched the real world versions. If the CG in the video is bad, then I hate him. But if it's good, then he's literally my favorite human on the planet. These shots look so realistic and kind of scary. Helping him film all this are hundreds of cameras he owns. I mean, we're probably up to like 250, 300 cameras. He also believes YouTube isn't about the highest quality. Personally, I don't like like super high quality cameras. I prefer it to look a little more amateur. So I've been using like these G7Xs. Those cameras along with the lights, props and other equipment are all kept in this warehouse, which is located on Mr. Beast's headquarters. And thanks to Colin and Samir, they film the entire campus. The main room is where all the sets are built. And upstairs, there's multiple rooms for the creative teams. Then we headed over to a separate warehouse. Let's call it Studio 2. Oh, oh, I recognize it. This is where the mystery box was. Right? Studio 3. This brand new studio and 100 acres of land around it. A massive studio could hold multiple videos. Like if we did World's, Arch six, or World's Hardest Escape Room, I mean, it's probably gonna take up all this space behind us. This is how the bank robbery was made. Last to touch the Lamborghini, last to leave the circle, and all these other videos. And his third studio holds the sets of his other channels. This is my setup and Beast Reacts. These videos have insane retention and like, they just do well every single time. But there's one reason why this all works. It's thanks to his incredible crew behind the scenes. Each video has multiple cameramen, which are led by Tyreek. He even has people hold boom mics. On set, Mr. Beast has directors, producers, and assistants helping him make sure everything on set is perfect. And that's all controlled by Mr. Beast's manager, Reed. This feels Weird. Do you, do you like it, Reed? I do. Okay, well, if, if Reed likes it. All these people are paid by somebody very close to Mr. Beast. Because you never know when the bat phone's gonna ring. We've referenced his Squid Game, Escape Room, and even his Buried Alive. But how did they even get started? Well, he came up with them through his idea methods. So I read somewhere, I think you said you've gone through a dictionary and would just like pick random words to see yep. if you can find good video ideas in there. It works actually better than you would think. When I was younger, like, I would train myself like to lucid dreams, try to like strategically brainstorm ideas while I would sleep and like I'd wake up in the middle of the night and write down ideas. He also calls his YouTube friends each week for inspiration. Even when he's on Netflix, he's getting inspired. Only watch things that like inspired me. So I would like try to watch a different show or different things or different genres for inspiration. Not all these ideas make it though. There are tons of videos that never made it. You're talking about a video we scrapped where we tried to climb with plungers on the side of a wall. Spoiler, you couldn't. Or even a video where he made a city with bouncy castles. He tried making a pit of glue, but it didn't work. And tried the world's longest domino chain, which didn't end up being cool either. He even gave his friends holidays for a video, but that didn't work out either. And because I left my camera on a plane, and I called the airlines, they couldn't find it. I didn't have my footage and we couldn't upload it. Wait a minute, I never see Mr. Beast compete in videos. Would you consider entering yourself in one of these competitions? 
Yeah, the only for, problem for is one of your I, videos. Just, I just don't want to win a million dollars. Even if he was competing, the video just wouldn't be as good. These videos are good because I'm narrating. If I'm just stuck on it, then like there goes like most of the video. I'm it's funnier seeing Chris, Chandler, and Carl compete. And back in 2020, when the sickness situation <laughs> first started, all you would see is Chris, Chandler, and Carl. That's because Mr. Beast had to quarantine everyone. Literally what we did, I don't even think I ever said it publicly, is I, we actually had all all the boys move in with me. We literally lived together. Times were tough back then, but now things seem to be getting back on track and Mr. Beast has way better systems to make sure everyone stays safe. During the filming of Squid Game, Mr. Beast had all his 456 contestants quarantined. They put us into the East Carolina University dorms. He paid for all their accommodation, which must have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But he has to make sure everyone feels good and safe, even in videos where you least expect it. So we have met on standby we we have therapists whatever they need and therapists, people therapists. routinely checking in on them and, and stuff and so like I, if the imagine, imagine you get ptsd from staying in mr Beast's circle too long <laughs> i was there for 74. but mr beast doesn't want me to show you behind the scenes of everything i've spent tens of millions of dollars so i can learn from it and like hiring and how we do things and then for me to just show the thousands of creators coming from my neck exactly how i do everything cue the explosion